very special day at the polka dot door. It's the Pokeroo's birthday and we're having a big party for him. There's going to be lots of gifts and a birthday cake and we're all going to have a great time. While the backyard is ready for our guests, when will Pokeroo be here? Soon. Good. Carrie's going to get her gift. Oh, I'm so excited. I hope nothing goes wrong. Are we sure Pokeroo's going to be here? Of course he's going to be here. He promised to visit us on his birthday. And that's today, so any moment we could hear him say, <gasps> It's him! He's here. He's early. Quick! <gasps> okay, when Robert opens the door, let's all shout, Happy Birthday, Pokeroo. Ready? Happy, Happy birthday! Just like a king who comes riding in 
maybe. Let's go see. Ready? Happy, Happy birthday! Hi, it's only me. I can't get my present through the door. Oh, we'll help. Oh. Here we go. Whoa. You got it? Big. It sure is. Wow. Watch the door. Okay. Oh, look at the polka dot cover. That's great. Take it over here. Here we are. Great. What is it? It's a polka rua phone. A polka rua phone? What's that? <laughs> Can we see it? Well, it's supposed to be a surprise. Oh, we won't tell the polka roo. Promise. You'd like to see a polka rua phone, wouldn't you? You won't tell a pokeroo and spoil the surprise, will you? Well, okay. Ooh. Ooh. You see, when people phone the pokeroo, he'll be able to see them on this screen. Ah. And he'll be able to talk back to them through here. Oh. Hey, that's terrific. Well, this is going to be the best birthday pokeroo's ever had. Maybe we should make a big bow with a ribbon. What's that? I think it's the first call on the Pokerupa phone. Hi, everybody. It's Gordon. I just wanted to wish the Pokeru a very happy birthday. Hi, Gordon. I'm afraid you're a little early. The Pokeru is not here yet. You mean I missed him again? Well, never mind that. You're the first person to call on the Pokeru phone. That's great. I wish I could be there with you. Oh, I almost forgot. Could someone go to the school on the corner? Because the children have something for the pokeroo. Of course I will, Gordon. I'll go to the school right away. Thank you, Cindy. Goodbye, everybody. Tell the pokeroo I hope he has a very happy birthday. Goodbye, Bye. Bye, Gordon. Wasn't it great seeing Gordon again? Sure was. Carrie, I'm going to the school. Would you please wrap my present for me? Oh, sure. Thank you. See you later. Bye. Bye. I wonder what it is. <laughs> is it very heavy? I don't think Cindy will mind if we look at her present. Do you? I think we should take just a little peek. <gasps> oh. It's a video camera. Oh, I can't wait to see the Pokeroo's face. You know what I think? I think all of us and all of you should tape something for the Pokeroo. Good idea. But what? Oh, the Pokeroo loves nursery rhymes. We could do some of those.
Muffet, Little Jack Horner, sat on a tuffet, sat in the corner, eating her curds and whey, eating his Christmas pie, Along came a spider, who put in his thumb, who sat down beside her, and pulled out a plum, and frightened Miss Muffet away, and said, what a good boy am I, sing a song of sixpence a pocket full of rye, four and twenty blackbirds baked in a pie, when the
One more rehearsal. Oh no. I broke my baton. Now how am I going to conduct the polka dot door choir with a broken baton? Well, here Johnny, why don't you keep rehearsing and I'll glue the baton back together again. Thanks, Gary. But why don't you sing with us this time? We need lots of voices in our choir, so join with us this time. Can I learn the song too? Of course. I'll teach it to you. I'll say the words and you sing them after me. Ready? One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. Happy birthday, Happy Paul Carew. birthday, Paul Carew. From all of us to you. From all of us Everybody, to everywhere. Everybody, everywhere. Glad that you are always He's there. Glad that you are always there. Freddy Teddy was there, 
along with Sir Sleepyhead, captain of the Royal Guard, and all the way from France, the Baroness du Fibbledibble, and her friend, the Duchess of Cheesy Weezy. And after all the royal judges had been seated, and the royal fanfare had been blown, King Major Minor announced that the choir contest should begin. The choirs began to sing sad songs and happy songs, slow songs and fast songs, until the halls of the royal palace echoed with the beautiful music. Each choir had to sing two songs, and everybody waited anxiously to hear the most famous choir of all, the Polka Dot Door Glee Club. Everyone agreed that their song was the best. Now all they had to do was sing one more song to win the contest. The conductor tapped his baton and a great hush fell over the room. And then something awful happened. The conductor's baton broke in two. The poor conductor didn't know what to do. He couldn't conduct the choir with a broken baton, so he rushed off stage to find some glue. The wizard's magic glue. Do not use. Hmm, but this is an emergency. I'm sure the wizard won't mind if I use a little of his magic glue. As quick as he could, the conductor glued the baton together again and rushed back on stage to begin their second song. But when the choir began singing, something very strange happened. The choir couldn't sing. They opened their mouths, but not a single note came out. What's going on? whispered King Major Minor. I can't hear a thing, murmured Queen Madrigal. I want singing, demanded Prince Freddy Teddy. Sir Sleepyhead nodded and then fell fast asleep. No, 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 wailed the Baroness to Fibbledibble. The Duchess of Cheesy Weezy didn't say anything, but she looked very, very, very upset. The conductor didn't know why the choir wouldn't sing out loud, but he wanted to win the contest, so he tapped his baton and they started again. And this time, the choir tried as hard as they could. That's not singing, shouted King Major Minor. Tell them to go home, suggested Queen Madrigal. Prince Freddy Teddy went bow so loudly that Sir Sleepyhead woke up. No, 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 hissed the Baroness to Fibbledibble. The Duchess of Cheesy Weezy didn't say anything, but she looked very, very, very angry. Everyone was very upset, and no one knew why the choir couldn't sing. They didn't know that the wizard's magic glue had caused a magic spell that stopped anyone from singing. The magic spell couldn't be broken as long as the conductor's baton was glued together. Up to the top.
that it was all part of the choir's act. Bravissimo! exclaimed King Major Minor. Very funny! cheered Queen Madrigal. Encore! Encore! shouted Prince Freddy Teddy and Sir Sleepyhead. Wee wee wee! added the Baroness de Fibbledibble. And the Duchess of Cheesy Weezy didn't say anything, but she looked very, very, very happy. And of course, they won the choir contest, and King Major Minor declared that from that day onward, they would be known as the Royal Polka Dot Choir. And that's the end of our story. Wouldn't it be fun if we could all sing in a choir? just like they did in the story. Why don't we try it? We'll sing the Grand Old Duke of York. I'll be the conductor, and you be the choir. Now sing as loud as you can when I do this. And as soft as you can when I do this. Are you ready?
are we going to do if we don't find him? We can't have a party without the pokeroo. Don't worry, we'll find him. Gloria's right. He's probably at the ballet class. You know how much pokeroo loves dancing. Yeah, lots of people like to dance. I used to take ballet when I was little. So did I. And I took tap, too. I exercise and do aerobics. That's a lot like dancing. Why don't we all dance right now? It's easy to dance. Why not join in? Let's get up on our feet so, so we can, can all begin. begin. Dance, dance, kick your feet. Move to the music, listen to the beat. Clap your hands, point your toe. Take two steps and away we go. It's easy to dance. Why not join in? Let's get up on our feet so we can all begin. It's easy to dance. Just bend your knees, going up, going down. It's easy as can be. Well, now what do we do? <laughs> Anything we like. Well, there are so many different kinds of dances that we could try. We could start with a jig. I don't know how to do a jig. Oh, don't worry, Johnny. Just try it and see what happens. Come on, everybody. You can try it, too. Ready? A jig is a dance where your feet do a hop. You bounce up and down like a jack in the box. With heel and with toe, you give it your best. And when it's all over, you need a good rest. Well, that was easy. What's next? Hmm. A waltz, of course. Can I have this waltz with you? It would be my pleasure. How do you waltz? It's easy. You just count. One, two, three. 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 A waltz is a dance that the grown-ups all do. You can waltz by yourself, but it's better with two. Dancing together, you might like to know. Your partner can easily step on your toe. Ow! Sorry. Too slow, too dangerous. I know. How about a polka? Ha! Let's all dance the polka and circle around the floor. But look where you are going or you'll polka out the door. Wait a minute. Isn't there some easy dance that we can do together? Hmm. I know a calypso. Yeah. Are you dancing with us? Dance to our calypso, hear the beat. Hips go back and forth as you move your feet. Pretend you have a rattle in your hand. Shake to the beat of a calypso band. There's just one more step to go. Make sure you have lots of room. You ready? Here we go. Dance, dance. Kick your feet, move to the music, listen to the beat. Clap your hands, point your toe, take two steps and away we go. Let's go. Okay. 
Bye, Bye Caroline. Everyone. Bye, Caroline. Bye. Bye. Good luck. Looking till the pokeroo is here, that's right! <laughs> 
sea toys, none of us could find the polkaroo. We came back because the party guests are going to arrive. And we're going to have to tell them that the polkaroo's not coming. What a day. Nothing has gone right. Oh, what's that, Bear? Bear wants to know whose fault it is. Oh, it's nobody's fault, Bear. Sometimes your plans just don't work out the way you want them to. That happens sometimes. Ah, don't look so miserable, Dumpty. We can't always expect everything to work out the way we want it to. Pardon, Marigold? Marigold said she's very sad about the party. Well, we are too, Marigold, but we're just going to have to make the best of it. Cheer up and smile. Give it a trial just for a while. Let's smile and all cheer up. Let's see a smile on your face. Don't let a frown take its place. Remove each unhappy trace. Let's smile and all cheer up. Why look so mad or frown just like a fretter? Things aren't so bad, just wait and see. Don't look so sad, cause all will soon be better. Then you'll be glad, we guarantee. Cheer up and smile, give it a trial just for a while. And smile and all cheer up. Cheer up and smile, give it a trial just for Maybe Cindy will find the pokeroo at the school, and Robert and Mishu are going to look for him at the music class. Pardon, Marigold? Marigold said that's a very good place to look for him. Let's keep our fingers crossed and hope they find him. Well, I see that you've all been really busy making nice pictures for pokeroo. And here's one that Andrew did with a bow tie and polka dot slippers and a rainbow. Do you know what? Pokeroo oh, likes that. And there's a book, a birthday book for Pokeroo, with his favorite color on the book. But you know what? We've got a problem here today. We've spent all day looking for Pokeroo, and we can't find him anywhere. What's that? What are you guys all yelling at? Oh, are you sh are you fooling me? Now this is. Thank you. 
just left with the kids. Oh, you missed him again. But we have to find him. He's forgotten his own birthday. That's terrible. Imagine forgetting your own birthday. He didn't say where he was going, but he did leave me these. More balloons? It must mean something. But what? Hello? Anybody there? Hello, it's me, Nani. Where is everybody? Are they still looking for the pokeroo? Poor pokeroo. He's going to miss the whole party. Hi, Nani. It's me, Cindy. Oh, hi, Cindy. Alex told me you were looking for the pokeroo. Yes, I just missed him at the school. He left behind these balloons. That's strange. Well, don't give up hope. There's still time. Are you still coming to our party, Nani? <laughs> you bet. But I'm going to be a little late. There's going to be a kid's parade that passes right outside my door. So I'll see you all later, okay? Okay, bye, Nani. Any luck? Well, just these balloons. Hey, wait a minute. Now, we found polka dot balloons, and Robert and Miss you say the polka has been leaving those balloons all over the place, everywhere. These balloons mean something. Well, I think most of our guests have arrived. Oh, well, that reminds me. Nani's going to be a little late for our party because she's watching the kids' parade. Remember when Pokeroo was in that parade last year? Oh, we had streamers and balloons all over the car. <gasps> Wait a minute. That's it. I know where the Pokeroo is. You do? Where? Now, there must be some way to get a normal picture on this screen. Good. Now watch. Is for you! Pokeroo! Pokeroo! 
Pokeroo, we have a cake and a very special song just for you. Pokeroo! Help us sing our birthday song to the Pokeroo! Happy birthday, Pokeroo! From all of us to you, everybody everywhere is glad that you are always there. All the silly things you do make us laugh when we feel blue. So from all of us to you, happy birthday, Paul. Thank you. 